Hello everyone, welcome to JHC Gaming, your number one source for Shotgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Enjoy the video. What is up guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, we look at the upcoming update 090. If it's not launching today, it should be really soon because we know it's scheduled for today. There was a bug or a mistake on the official site. It said July 18 and they said it's a mistake. So probably June 18, which is today. So fingers crossed for an update today. The patch notes will go over uh, pretty quick because most of it has been talked about already on the mad stream but a few more details today and we will go over all the balance changes on the skills balancing today so let's do this let's start i already made a few videos about the skill tree you guys know already uh, we saw one by one all the branches of the three but we did not see yet the balance change to the skills but before we do that let's just go over the patch notes real quick for the features and content coming with the 090 update like i said most of it has already been shown on the last mad stream a lot of visual stuff the one i like is the first one the matchmaking queue will show the number of players so when you're queuing in a random dungeon or uh, even the pvp team pvp you see how many players are waiting in the queue so it gives you an idea if it's gonna be short or long uh, a lot of visual stuff cut scenes uh introductions before the pvp games uh, it looks like a lot of cool stuff and they did show a little bit now one two three four five six the capes we're gonna have cosmetic capes and they said five different capes they didn't really say how we're gonna be able to get them and we didn't see anything they didn't show so it's gonna be a surprise what are the capes are they gonna be different models different skins we will see really soon now brand new emotes no details they didn't reveal anything but i want to look at the last three items on the features and content first of all iap bundles are changing from current armor sets to full body cosmetics now let's go to the shop real quick now that is a surprise to me they didn't say anything about that and it just popped on the new uh, patch notes revealed today if you go to the iap store and you go to bundles you have all these bundles that were available earlier like the spectre bundle and a lot of these bundles come with uh, cosmetics and armor but the armor once again it comes with random perks and there's been a lot of complaints in the past i've seen on facebook and stuff like that people are not happy they spent real money and they didn't get lucky with their perks so what they get is a bunch of armor that is not usable myself included i did buy all the bundles just to end up dismantling or selling all the armor so you end up paying just for stickers and a hat and you know some some paint that's cool though but still you don't get that much value so i don't know but does that mean that instead of an armor you're gonna end up with a full specter body cosmetic because if that's if that's coming to the game i mean i'm in this armor looks freaking awesome i know it's just a reskin raptor uh, armor bundle but if you can get that as a cosmetic with the paint stripes and stuff i mean i would wear that over my ugly armor and i would even pay for good old caterpillar set caterpillar sets my favorite in the game and i would wear it over my armor anytime so we'll see probably this week if it's the deal with the new iap armor becoming full cosmetic bundles or are they just gonna change the the bundles we will see now still at the bottom of the list new sounds indicating a deadly hit or the last few bullets in your clip so when you're about to run out of ammo or when you're about to reload you will have a different sound and you will be aware that you're about to run out so i think it's interesting cannot wait to see what it really sounds like in the game and the last one no idea what that means you guys type in the comment new geostation environment I googled it, it didn't help me at all, no freaking clue what that means, but it's in the patch notes coming with the new update. Now let's jump into the balance changes. So starting with the survival tree, survival kit of course was gonna be affected by the change. 
I don't know if you call it a nerf or a buff, but it's got a bit of both. The cooldown is decreased from 120 seconds to 100. It's gonna cool down faster, but it's gonna heal less. The healing factor is decreased from 25% to 15% for every tick. Like if you stand on the healing kit, it's gonna tick and it's gonna heal and it's gonna heal and it's gonna heal. So the ticks will be uh, slower instead of 0.75 seconds it's gonna tick every second and instead of giving you 25% health every time it ticks it's gonna only give you 15% health so it's gonna tick slower it's gonna heal less it's gonna be less effective and probably it's gonna make a difference without totally killing it but when you're standing on it you're not gonna be invincible now invisibility tech is getting a buff the cooldown is decreased from 100 seconds to 70 seconds so it's like half a minute faster to get it emergency shield now is one of the least used skills in the game i guess the only time i ever used emergency shield was to uh, get the ribbons for the medal but nobody used that uh, even in pve like it's a, a dead skill now they decrease the duration i don't know why it's gonna last 15 seconds instead of 30 seconds the cooldown though is gonna almost be cut in half 100 seconds uh, to have the skill ready to use and the skill visual will change emp now it's one of the skills that was really really used in pvp and it needed a nerf so they move it to the top of the skill tree it's gonna be 13 points to use it and it's gonna get a huge nerf so first of all emp uh the gadget is now destructible like the sentry gun you can shoot it and it's gonna be going away the change now it will disable active skills so if your opponent use supercharge and then you activate EMP, the supercharge will just die. Same thing for sentry gun. If you get somewhere and you face a sentry gun, you can drop your EMP and it will disable the sentry gun. EMP now has a visible area of effect. It was very confusing in the past. You didn't know for sure if you were in the range or outside the range. Now you will see. The duration is also cut in half. It used to last 40 seconds. It's now going to be cut to 20 seconds and the cooldown is increased by 10 seconds from 70 to 80 seconds cooldown. So once again, a big change to EMP, not just the placement on the skill tree, but the whole skill has been reworked. And that is all for the survival tree. Everything else will remain the same. Now we will move to the agility three and see what skills were affected. First of all is supercharger. It's the first skill on the tree now and the damage bonus in PVP will now be 100% for all types of weapon. Next up is melee berserker. It was not very popular because it was way too weak. You can't really kill people with that and it's not really gonna change. They boosted the damage a little bit from 63 to 90 damage per punch it is still not going to one-shot people, of course. And the cooldown is decreased, so it's going to come back faster. 140 seconds from 160. Grenades are getting buffed and nerfed. For PvE, they increased the damage of the grenades. They were not so popular in PvE. So now they will do 1350 damage from 800. In PvP, the damage is decreased just a little bit from 112 to 110. I don't think it's a big difference. It is not a big difference. I don't know why they did that, but whatever the cooldown is increased from 60 to 70 and the amount of available grenades on level one will be decreased from two to one now watch out guys one of the biggest buffs fight for your life it goes from 25 to 30 percent so it will activate in pvp if you go below 30 percent hp you will start dealing the extra damage for PvE, it will go from 25 to 60. It will activate when you're close to half your HP. And it will last longer because, you know, guys, we're losing the auto heal activation stats. So when you go below 60% health, you start dealing extra damage and you deal extra damage for a longer time. So Fight for Your Life, which was already pretty good, just became a lot better. Now, the one everyone wants to know about what's going to happen to Blink it's getting nerfed pretty good maybe not enough we will see but first of all the number of charge is decreased from three to two and the cooldown is increased is doubled from 20 seconds to 40 seconds 
So we will see it's not losing its knockdown effect. That's what I was thinking maybe would happen. So blink will still knock down, but you're not gonna use it every kill like you were using before on the 1v1 battles. Cause I played blink last week and it's just crazy. 20 seconds, you can just activate every kill and you could stack up to three blinks. Now with 40 seconds cooldown and only be able to stack two, it's gonna reduce the efficiency for sure. And it's gonna be easier to counter, but it's still gonna be really good. Not as good as before, but not dead. Now the last one on the agility 3 is the AM bomb. They said the duration was gonna increase, but it's gonna deal less damage with every tick for the same amount of damage total. What that means is in PvP, you will have a better chance to escape because you're not gonna die as fast. The radius also decreased, so you have to be closer to the bomb to be affected by it. In PvE, it's still gonna have the same value because you're gonna deal the same amount of damage. Of course, the radius is just 3 meters. I think in arenas, it's not gonna be a problem, but the total damage should be the same. That's it for the agility. The rest will stay the same. All the mobility skills are not affected by the balance changes. Now on the combat 3 we start with the shockwave pause, the cooldown is decreased by 10 seconds only, it is still gonna be a bit slow. The radius is increased from 10 to 12 meters so you can shock someone from a long range. The rocket man is getting nerfed, believe it or not, it was not that crazy, but the total damage is decreased from 300 to 250 at level 1. Next up is the stunner, a little buff with a decreased cooldown from 80 to 70 seconds. Sentry gun is getting a pretty good nerf. The damage per shot is decreased from 40 to 30. It's a 25% nerf and the health is decreased also. It means it's not gonna last as long and it's gonna be easier to destroy. Now, big surprise, iron sight damage is getting a monster buff. The damage bonus will be increased from 8% to 15%. It's almost double the damage it used to do. No surprise they separated the crit damage from the iron sight damage because iron sight is applied on the base damage before the multipliers. It will be interesting to see what people do with some glass cannon builds like they had in the past, but more possibilities now. Now the last skill for the balance change is Hunter Mine. The cooldown is decreased by 20 seconds. It was not a great one because mostly the 13-7 build that you were forced to use at zero mobility. Now you have more options and you have maybe better possibilities for Hunter Mines build. And with their Iron Sight and Lord of War, you will have very good options now. And I cannot wait to see how good it's going to be in PvP. And that is it. That will cover the whole balance change for the 090 update in Shadowgun Legends. Let me know in the comments what's the biggest winner, what's the biggest loser. Do you agree with the balance change? What would you have done differently? I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. I will read all the comments as always. And once again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.